Five years ago, I entered a scholarship that raced right here on this very track. The winner got £35,000 to go racing in real life. Somehow, my career in media started right here in both the virtual and the real world. And five years later, I'm back to where it all began. Sometimes life can bring you back places that you probably wouldn't expect it to come back. I'm here at Brands Hatch where my career started in media and racing and everything thanks to this track. So I started studying media in, in 2016 and in 2017 I entered a racing driver scholarship to become a racing driver and it was based at this track in the virtual world on Project Cars and the fastest lap time won a season of racing in Formula Ford. And if you follow the channel, you know the story already. I did not win this. I finished seventh or eighth out of, I think there was 1,100 people setting a lap time around Brands Hatch. The winner was Sebastian Joe, one of my good friends. And obviously we did the race, a documentary together. We did all sorts of content over the years. Uh, he went to Mexico. He went uh, all over the UK racing and we had uh, incredible time, we made some great content. But right here, this track holds some special importance and if it wasn't for this track, I probably wouldn't even be talking in this video right now. So I've come back to this track today to show you the track and I'm also gonna be showing you someone who's also proving that I've kind of gone full circle and I'm back to where it all began. More on that later. And although I started studying media in 2016, it wasn't until 2017 until my career took a really exciting turn. And it was at this track where I changed my path. I went to make the racer documentary after I lost the scholarship, after I finished seventh. I think I was under a tenth or a second away from winning. But Sebastian won. I was seventh or eighth out of a thousand people. So it was a mega prize. And also, I'm pretty sure it was at this corner, the last corner on Brands Hatch, where Seb, in qualifying, came round this corner and he crashed into the wall here in qualifying in the racer episode. I'll put the clip up right now, but that was a big moment in the race series where his first proper crash, and uh, yeah, it ended up costing, costing him uh, some confidence, but he came back and he managed to fight back and have a positive weekend after that. This corner in particular is really good because if you stand over there, you have to get behind the barrier and you can't get good shots, whereas the barrier ends right here. So I'm just standing here. There's absolutely nobody around apart from this marshal over there who uh, probably can't even hear me talking. Um, and you get a perfect view of the track of the last couple of corners of the Indy circuit. The, the GP, the Grand Prix circuit, comes all the way down here and goes round. As you can see, it turns right, goes up the hill, goes round in a very technical section, down the straight and into the last corner. But this is the Indy circuit that they're running today. And obviously from there, if I hadn't have done the scholarship, I would not have done the racer documentary, I wouldn't have ended up here, and I would not have ended up even having a camera or even embarking on my career, like working with the likes of Red Bull Racing Esports, Getty Images, all of these people that I really value and I'm really lucky to be a part of and experience. So, and when I lost the scholarship, I felt like I'd lost. I felt like I hadn't achieved anything. Obviously I'd, I'd finished seventh or eighth and I felt like I had, I, I felt a little bit defeated really, but I took that opportunity to say to the organizer of the scholarship, I'm making videos. I'll do you a couple of videos for free, um, see what you think. Obviously that progressed and then I got commissioned and I managed to leave my job working in the pub and I could do all these videos and get paid much more money to do that. And I was getting paid to do something I really enjoyed and something that I was really passionate about. And that was crazy. And the thing that I want to say about this is that don't be surprised if your career or your life or anything in life takes a different turn because the corners on this track hold the secret to my career. If I'd have taken one of these corners slightly better and slightly quicker, I probably would have won the scholarship and I wouldn't be holding this camera speaking to you right now, so. But now I'm gonna head over to the pit lane and paddock area and I'll show you someone who you might wanna meet who is the next generation of sim racer to real life racer. And I'll show you who that is. But first I've gotta make sure I navigate my way to the pit lane in that direction in a sec. 
on my way to turn one from the last corner i was just thinking i would never have ended up on this journey with the whole media thing with the whole racer uh, documentary going to mexico traveling around the uk to all the great circuits being able to go in the pit lane in the paddock film with the team it's quite a wholesome experience coming back to the place where it all started anyway on to the pit lane You're probably wondering, whose garage is this and what am I doing here? Well, this is Will. Myself and Will have raced online on iRacing. And today he is testing his new Honda Civic at Brands Hatch ahead of his season of racing in real life. Hello, I'm Will Redford. This is my brand new Civic that I'll be racing this year. I came from Saxo's last year in the Junior Saloon Car Championship, but before that I've come completely from sim racing, just like someone else you may know, Sebastian Job, which you'll know from George's channel. This is my car, makes about 230 brake horsepower, 1200 kilo, all the weights on the front as well, so the rear just skates around all over the place, around the corners. Top speed maybe 125, 130 miles an hour, depending on the track that you're going on. We're doing Brands Hatch today on the Civic Cup Media Day. I've just come out of a test session, which we did it in 53 seconds, so it is pretty rapid. It's only a few seconds off the touring cars, but I'm hoping for some good results this year. Maybe top five, top three in the championship, maybe even championship win, we'll see what happens. But if you want to follow me, you can find me on Instagram at WC Redford and Facebook uh, at Will Redford Racing. Or if you just search my name, followed by Racing on Google, you'll find all my socials there. And can you give me a public apology for taking me out of Sonoma? For context, here is the clip of Will taking me out at Sonoma during one of our Monday Night Skippy races, which were broadcast and became very popular online in the sim racing community. Now Redford and Mattock side by side, Redford on the outside. Ooh, is he? Oh, someone's had a spin. That was Mattock. My apology for rear-ending him at a Sonoma a few months ago. I'm terribly sorry about that. It's completely my fault. Um, but I don't regret. I don't regret it. I still won the race. <laughs> I do want to say sorry to George though, because I punted him out of that lead pack uh, when I was trying to get past everyone. It's also worth mentioning that Brands Hatch is the same place where myself and Kieran produced a TV advert for the next year's scholarship, featuring this crazy shot that we set up on top of Seb's car as he went around the track. It was a little bit overexposed, but we did manage to fix it as best as we could. And that's why Brands Hatch means so much to me and really is where I started my career in media whilst trying to become a racing driver. Yeah, try and work that one out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Oh, 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 oh,